All right, guys, today we have a, a Jarvis Walker EA700. Now, truth be told, this reel is broken and I can fix it, but the problem is I have to order parts from, uh, from Australia and it's not cost effective, so we're not going to do that. But I am going to break it down for you and show you how the parts come apart and go back together. Uh, it's missing the the drag retaining spring and the cross wind block was broken. I already removed that. Uh, I haven't broken it all down yet. I just opened up the case to get to the see what the problem the problem was and it was the <clears throat> the cross wind block. So let's get started with this pull this off this off again like I said the spring is the retaining spring is gone but I'll pop this drag out it looks like they're all there uh, it's tough to say I looked at the schematic on this and they had less metal and fiber drag washers than this did so we'll leave that the way it is so the way I set it up was I used the aired as the aired washer as the base and then did alternating washers and drag washers. Uh, to break the clicker down, you can see you can remove this screw right here. Off it comes. There's a little post that sits on there. I'm gonna hold on to the spring while I pull that up and it comes off like that now in this video I'm actually going to break down and put back together all at once versus what I normally do is take everything apart and then put it all back together after I clean it because we're not going to clean this real <clears throat> so let's get this put back on And then we'll do the spring afterwards. Let's get the spring back on the post over here. Well, like so. And that's how it sits. Okay, let's take the reel apart. Unscrew this knob over here. There's a washer on here, like a lock washer. That's just on the end of it. And just pull this out. Now this handle itself doesn't come apart. I'm sure you could pop that post out to get it off. And to remove the, uh, we're gonna remove this clicker thing first. It has a washer that sits on top of it. Let's get that back over here so you can see it. There's a washer and the clicker thing. To remove the spool, I'm sorry, the rotor, you have to undo this screw. And then this is a reverse thread. So to unlock it or to unscrew it, you turn to the right or clockwise versus clockwise and you 
can take the rotor off like that. I'm gonna break down the rotor and put it back together. Again, I haven't been inside here yet, but all reels pretty much are the same. Let's remove the line roller. And there's no lock washer on this. This pops right off. And there's a bushing inside here. And that's about it. The bushing goes on the outside towards the bail arm. Screws are identical for each side, so we don't have to worry about that. And let's see if this comes apart. Mm, it doesn't. Okay, let's go into the spring area. And let's see what they have inside here. It looks like just a regular arm and a spring on top of it. Yep. So the arm sits like this, the long end goes in the bottom here and the short end is on top. The spring sits inside this hole right there. If we can get that in there. like so. There's a little hole right here that we're going to fit that inside. Mm, that should be good. There we go. And we got it in there. So let's go ahead and close this up. Then we'll put our bail arm screw in there so it doesn't come out of place. Yeah, there we go. Now let's get our line ruler on. So we had the washer come out of here. We'll put that back in. Stick this on like that. Get our screw. It's the screw with the tighter threading. Don't know if you can see that or not. Where are we at? Right there. Yeah, right there. So tight thread threading on this one. Stick that through get our bail arm in there and then we'll do like a little balancing act to screw this in not all the way yet because we're going to put on this end of it then once we tighten this one down we can tighten the bail arm as well or the line roller portion of it All right. And that's that for the the rotor and the bail. All right, so let's get on to this part. 
There's a screw on top here that you have to remove to remove the casing or the the, the cover. And all these screws are the same size. And there's one on the bottom here as well. But again, all these three are the same size. This one's a little smaller. And then under that piece there, there's another screw that you have to remove as well, which is this one right here. So all these screws come out like that and this comes off just like that so let's go ahead and remove this um, spool shaft and to do that I need to remove this screw out of here which is the screw that went into the the crosswind block but that is no longer here because I took it out it was shattered to pieces, it was all just plastic, so it was easy to break. Pull that out. Pull out the gear. There's a bushing on here instead of a bearing. And it looks like that. There's a piece on the end of here. Uh, let's see if I can get that out for you. That's another bushing, so to speak. It's for the uh, for this side of the handle as a spacer or let's call it a shim. Set that to the side. Here's a crosswind block. It simply comes up off this post. If I can get it. I... There we go. Sits like that. And to remove this part, we're just gonna unscrew these things. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna pull this spring out. The spring sits in here and it acts for the uh, the anti-reverse, but it'll pop out on you, so we don't wanna have that accidentally pop out and fly somewhere. Sorry for not getting that in, in view. And this is the dog engagement piece. So let's get that screw out of there. It's a nice long screw, as you can see. This simply pulls up, and this comes up as well. That's to engage the dog or disengage it. There's a shim there, yep. There's a shim washer on the bottom. Leave that upside down so you can see it. Pull this up, and we need to remove the bearing cover, which are essentially, in this case, just a couple of screws. It's not really a cover. Let's move this out of the way so we can get it up. this screw like so pull this out that's basically it there might be a bushing in here let me see yeah, there's a bushing there as well. We're not gonna keep that out too long. We're just gonna put that back in. Now this piece, this is to engage and disengage the dog. To remove that, you simply unscrew this. And we're gonna do it. Since we're breaking the entire reel down. 
remove this, this should come up like so, and it comes out. Okay, so let's put this all back together. We're gonna slip this thing inside here. See if we can do it like so. Gonna get our trip and find the groove in there. And it's just, just like that. Now let's get this little baby screw inside this thing. Mm, almost got it. Just so you can see it. Hope you can see that. So that's back in place. We'll put the spring in. That spring in in a sec. All right. So let's get the uh, the pinion and the rotor. I'm sorry, the pinion and the uh, bearing back in place. We'll lock it down with these screws that they had there. These screws just hold the bearing down. They're not for any other purpose. get this back on with the shim and that's going to sit over let's take that back out hold on one second we'll put this on first this is the trip if I like that because you're looking at a portion that will engage and disengage the anti-reverse right there so it should sit like that on the inside of it. Like that. So that's how it should work. It'll close, it'll open. And let's put this with the shim washer back on. This little wire here is going to go over this post right here on top of the um, this little block here and it'll sit just like that now we can get this spring back in there's a bunch of uh, let me just not do that because I don't want it popping out on me I'm gonna put the rotor back on and then I'm gonna stick the main gear in so we have that in place sitting like so and then we're just gonna get this spring back in after that. So the way I'll do the spring is I'll, if you have a tweezers you can do it that way. I'm going to get the bottom end in place. Come here. I'll get the bottom end in place. And then I'll use a screwdriver or something to just pop the other piece in. And then use my thumb to push it down. 
like that. Now that's set in place. Now we can close this up. Make sure we're not missing any other pieces there. We're not. Close this up. And then we'll put our screws back in. We'll get this long screw on the on the um, this trip over here in a sec. And we are basically done with this reel. It's uh, pretty simple. Some small pieces in there to make it a little tough, but. Not too difficult. put on our rash guard and for the rash guard there's basically two little prongs on the outside of or on the inside of it that you have to just fit in place I didn't put our small screw back in inside the uh, inside the um, spool shaft but we know where that goes it basically goes like so and they'll sit just like that. There's a curved edge to it, and then there's a straight edge. The straight edge will be sitting up. Let's see if we can see that here. The straight edge will be sitting up, and the curved edge will be on the bottom. Let's get our shin guard in. Then we can put our rotor on after we put the screw in there. Stick our rotor on. Get our spool shaft in place. Goes on like that. Again, there's no crosswind block in here for us to set that spool shaft in, so. Get our screw. Remember, it's a reverse threaded screw. There's a flat surface to this, and there's a beveled surface. The flat surface will go down. To screw this on, you go counterclockwise. And I'm trying to find a flat spot for this uh, screw to go back in there. have to make sure that this flat side is facing here so we can get that screw to sit properly put our set screw in there and we can put our handle back in
the way I had this set up for the drag was keyed washer, little fibrous kind of washer. I'm sorry, aired washer on the bottom, keyed washer after the fiber washer, another fiber washer, keyed washer, fiber washer, and then another keyed washer sitting like that. Now we can stick on our clicker thing. And I'm holding it up again because there's no uh, there's no crosswind block holding this the spool shaft in place. Get that plastic washer all the way down to keep it set. And that's it. I won't even put this on because it might just pop out, which it did. But of course, if you had a washer in there where it was locked in place, you wouldn't have that issue. So hopefully this helps you. And that's how you break down and put back together a Jarvis Walker EA700 spinning reel. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe if you like what you see. Thanks again for watching.